As long as you are with me, you are in danger. Look, I think you're being overly dramatic. Am I? Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 stars you forgot appeared on Disney Channel shows. Number 10, Tiffany Haddish on That's So Raven. Characters played by Tiffany Haddish go straight to business. Even in one of her earliest on-screen roles, Tiffany carried her trademark attitude as a tour guide on That's So Raven. When Raven's best friend Chelsea visits a biodome, it's Tiffany's character on duty to show visitors around. While initially putting on the persona of a well-to-do tour guide who's happy to help, she drops the act immediately when her shift is over, telling the visitors to beat it. In the end of my shift, the biodome will be closing in five minutes. Please exit through the gift shop as if you had a choice. Number nine, Austin Butler on Hannah Montana. I'm Lucas's cousin, Derek. Oh, yes, you are. In this episode, Miley's delight at having a handsome boy as her date becomes resentment towards Lily when Derek turns out to have a bit of a problem with scary movies. After coming close to panicking a few times, Derek finally loses his cool when Miley's dad walks in holding a chainsaw. I didn't know we were having a party. <laughs> Number eight, Kate Flannery on Wizards of Waverly Place. Best known as Meredith Palmer on The Office, a character who regularly made colleagues uncomfortable with inappropriate remarks, Kate Flannery carried a similar awkward energy over to Wizards of Waverly Place. And this is us making an entrance. And this is us shaking an entrance. <laughs> Kate played Harper's mother, Elaine Finkel, a vaudeville dancer who, along with her husband, embarrasses Harper with her over-the-top antics. The couple is convinced that they're about to land a lucrative gig in Romania. It's when Alex takes a liking towards the Finkels that the real competition begins. Number seven, Larry David on Hannah Montana. Does anybody work here? When Larry arrives with his daughters at the coolest restaurant in town, he's made to wait in line for a table, while Hannah invokes her celebrity privileges to get one immediately. In true Larry David fashion, his attempts to gain sympathy go nowhere, even when pretending he's there for his daughter's birthdays. His plan blows up in his face when he's made to face facts that he's just not as big as Hannah Montana. But he's Larry David. Uh, he created Seinfeld and Curb Your Enthusiasm. Sorry. <laughs> Number six, Zachary Quinto on Lizzie McGuire. Before playing one of the scariest villains ever on Heroes or stepping into the shoes of Mr. Spock, Zachary Quinto appeared on the Disney Channel as an eccentric director who took his job a little too seriously. In this episode, Matt and Sam McGuire's sports drink commercial doesn't start well because of Sam's obvious fear of heights. And action, I said action! Action? That means move? Ignoring this, the director launches a verbal tirade to humiliate Sam while the whole crew watches. Putting the director in his place, Matt manages to scare him almost speechless, earning applause from the crew. Number five, Ross Butler on Casey Undercover. After his role as obnoxious jock Reggie Mantle in Riverdale, Ross Butler followed up with his best known role as a jock with a heart of gold in 13 Reasons Why. However, he also had an earlier role on Casey Undercover as Brett, the titular character's love interest. Brett starts out as a spy working alongside Casey as the two eventually admit their feelings for one another. Unfortunately, it turns out Brett is a double agent for the villainous organization The Other Side. Eventually, he sees the error of his ways and has a heartfelt farewell before leaving the show. As long as you are with me, you are in danger. Look, I think you're being overly dramatic. Am I? Number four, Alison Brie on Hannah Montana. If you're a community fan, it's hard to imagine Alison Brie in any role other than Annie. However, Alison's first venture on television came back when she appeared on Hannah Montana, playing the character of Nina. In this episode, Rico pays Nina to pretend to be a beautician who pranks Jackson by giving him the shiniest head anyone has ever seen. Later on though, Jackson gets his revenge by convincing Nina to play the same trick on Rico, and she ends up leaving both boys bald. I'm so sorry. My parents were right. I don't have what it takes to be a beautician. Number three, Lucy Hale on Wizards of Waverly Place. While she's best known for playing the role of Arya on Pretty Little Liars, Lucy's also been seen on Disney Channel as Justin Russo's girlfriend, Miranda. Here, Miranda and Justin are seen on a movie date where Justin tries to have his first kiss. You were gonna kiss me? Well, only if you wanted to kiss me. Do you? Or is me asking totally ruining the moment? Nope. Unfortunately, despite Alex turning back time each time it goes wrong, Justin just can't seem to get it right. Miranda and Justin do eventually make it official after a lot of trial and error. Number two, Octavia Spencer on Wizards of Waverly Place. Before her career skyrocketed after her Oscar-winning performance in The Help, 
Octavia Spencer had guest spots in numerous sitcoms, including the part of Dr. Evelini. In this role, Octavia plays a professor at WizTech, which the Russo siblings attend for summer school. Dr. Evelini stays true to her name by constantly slipping up with her sinister intentions, before it's revealed that she's an evil wizard out to drain Justin's powers. So it's Justin. <laughs> I'll take him to the volcano and drain his powers for myself. Number one, The Rock on Hannah Montana and Wizards of Waverly Place. In this episode, Miley and Lily work together to capture an embarrassing picture of The Rock in order to exchange it with a picture of Hannah's from a magazine that exposes Miley's real identity. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh. oh Rocky, likey. Pretending to be professional stylists, the girls fool The Rock into a hilarious makeover he won't ever forget. It didn't get better on Wizards of Waverly Place either, when Alex refused to believe Johnson's identity. I'm Dwayne Johnson, the actor. Great. I'm Alex Russo, and my hobby is, is I like to poke things with a stick. 